The annual pass program at Disneyland Paris has allowed many fans to visit the resort as much as they wanted. Since the first iteration in the program has seen many changes, as the lineup of passes has always been in constant development. Today, Disney unveiled the new annual pass lineup. So, let's see what's new, what remains unchanged, and compare all of them right now. In March 2023, just some months ago, the sale of all new annual passes was put on hold. Disney said, We are always listening to our guests and continually strive to bring new experiences and develop new products which deliver choice, flexibility and value for our annual pass holders. We are currently developing a new product range for our most frequent visitors based on valuable feedback our pass holders have given us. And, as a result, we are pausing sales of new annual passes. Therefore, our annual passes are now only available for renewals for individuals who currently have a valid annual pass. We look forward to sharing more with you later this year. So, since then only renewals by current pass holders were available. But now, the later this year arrived. And so have the new passes. To keep this video simpler and easier to understand, I will divide it into several parts, starting with important information to current annual pass holders. You can see in the timeline the several chapters and find those that interest you the most. The new annual pass lineup consists of three different tiers, each with their own name, perks and of course prices. The new Disneyland pass consists of bronze, silver and gold. This new theme is reminiscent of the Olympics that will be held next year in Paris and truly gives the program a more simplified look than the old Discovery, Magic Flex, Magic Plus and Infinity lineup. Annual pass holders who are within their renewal period will be able to purchase the new passes as a priority from July 19th. Current AP holders will be able to upgrade to the new range from July 19th in person at the Walt Disney Studios Park ticketing desks. To those that want to upgrade from the old passes, the cost of the remaining days on their passes, prorated, would be deducted from the cost of the new passes. New sales for non-current AP holders will begin later this summer. Discount for disabled guests remains as is, 25% off for person plus one carer purchable on-site only. The total number of passes for sales and renewals is limited. It's expected a lot will be available, but availability is not guaranteed and your desired pass may not be available when you are ready to buy, upgrade or renew. If by any chance your desired pass is not available during this time, you will still be able to buy or upgrade later. Privilege tickets will be available until the end of your current annual passes. The discounted Disney hotel room rates for APs will now stop being offered. Extra magic time will still be available if your pass offers it. Reserved infinity viewing areas for shows ends for all in August 1st. And infinity parking, rental discounts and free bag storage all end July 19th. Let's now take a closer look at the three different tiers and their perks. The Disneyland Pass Bronze is the cheapest option, with 170 days per year and no more benefits, other than free parking which is offered to every single annual pass holder. This is perfect for the casual guest that wants nothing but access to the parks. The price for this pass comes at 289 euros. Next up is a Disneyland Pass Silver. This one allows holders to enter a lot more days, coming in at 300 days. These will not include the busier weeks and days. Other perks are a 10% discount on merchandise, food and photo pass, as the other free parking is also included. The price for this pass comes at 499. At last, we arrive at the Disneyland Pass Gold. With this one, you can access the parks 365 days of the year. Other perks include a 15% discount on food and merchandise a free photo pass and the free parking. This is also now the only pass to offer the famous extra magic time access. With this change, 
the number of guests will be greatly reduced during extra time. The price for this pass comes at $6.99. Before continuing, let's take a look at what these passes don't have that used to exist with the current program. Privilege tickets are no longer available on Disneyland Pass. The special AP entrance will disappear, just like Infinity Parking. It will remain an accessible parking during the current works and then be converted into regular parking. Free bag storage will disappear and reserved viewing areas will stop being offered with the new lineup. Free stroller, wheelchair rentals and AP room rates are no longer available. The discounts on day tickets also got removed. Extra magic time and discounts were changed with only the gold Disneyland pass getting extra magic time access after all the old passes expire. I remind you that until then, current pass holders can still enjoy this early access. One of the things most people wanted to get rid of is the reservation system. This was put in place after the reopening of the resort after the pandemic hit, with a maximum of three days of reservation at a time to visit the parks. It's not going anywhere. You still have to make reservations to visit, but it suffered an amazing change that will surely make a huge difference. While all new passes will still get three days of reservations, the availability is being merged with the entire park capacity. It's not particularly easy to understand, but what this means is that every pass holder will have access to every single bit of park capacity available until full park capacity is reached. There is no longer a distinction between normal day tickets and APs. Disney is expecting that pass holders will only encounter a few days a year where full capacity is reached. This would be during the very high season, such as Halloween week, Christmas week and some summer holidays. Even then, you can still make a reservation some days in advance if you think it may be full. So, during those days, day tickets will also be unavailable, truly treating APs as park guests from now on. This is one of the major and nicer changes. A small note, this new reservation system will only be offered to the new passes, old ones will remain with the limited quotas. There are some new benefits that are not included as perks, but sure sound very important and interesting, starting with annual pass parties. From now on, pass holders can expect at least 4 parties per year. These will be different and themed around various seasons, events or even themes. Each pass holder will be able to take one guest with him. The sale of event tickets will be completely reworked with a new queuing system hopefully fixing the 1001 problems we get when trying to book one. They even announced the first of these parties, which will be held on September 29, with sales opening during late August. An exclusive meet and greet location will be available inside Disneyland Park, on a location that has been emptied for a long time, and soon to be refurbished to hold several exclusive and beloved Disney characters. This will happen many times during the year, for three to four weeks each. Pass holders will be able to reserve one meet and greet for each period. This space will also be used as a pop-up location for sales and events, ending the need for a storybook store which used to hold these. One of the major changes of this new range is that it will be completely digital, from purchase to renewal and use. You will be able to find your pass in the Disneyland Paris app. No physical card will be provided for online purchases. However, if you do buy the pass online, you can request one free card at the desks in Walt Disney Studios Park. In-person purchase of the passes will still be offered at those desks, but online should be the main and preferred way to buy a Disneyland pass. With all this digitalization, I just hope the app gets a much-needed rework as well. If you have any question, make sure to comment so I or someone can help you out. This video was made possible by the great team over at DLP Report, who have been amazing today by answering all of the possibly imaginable questions. I recommend you check their article linked down below. That's it for the new annual passes of Disneyland Paris. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter and in the Discord. And now, as always. Thank you for watching and that's a wrap.